In this section, we will begin our discussion on viruses, starting with general virology. Let's start with basic viral structure. Viruses can be either naked, meaning no envelope, or enveloped. Naked viruses are composed of an icosahedral nucleocapsid made of glycoproteins and a genome made of nucleic acid inside that nucleocapsid. Enveloped viruses are either icosahedral or helical. Enveloped icosahedral viruses look identical to naked icosahedral viruses, except that their nucleocapsid is surrounded by an envelope made of a lipid bilayer. This lipid bilayer contains surface proteins that aid in target recognition and binding. Enveloped helical viruses also have an envelope, but their capsid is made of matrix or core protein that surrounds the nucleic acid genome, which is bound to nucleocapsid proteins. Viruses, like bacteria, need to find ways to diversify through genetic recombination. Here are four ways in which they accomplish this. The first is through recombination, which is an exchange of genes between two chromosomes by crossing over within regions of significant base sequence homology. Reassortment is another type of genetic diversification, which occurs when viruses that have segmented genomes, like influenza virus, exchange some of these segments. These occur at a high rate and are known as high frequency of recombination. This is also the cause of the worldwide influenza pandemics. Complementation occurs when one of two viruses that infect the cell has a mutation that results in a non-functional protein. The non-mutated virus then complements the mutated one by making a functional protein that serves both viruses. Phenotypic mixing occurs with simultaneous infection of a cell with two viruses. Genome of virus A can be partially or completely coded, forming a pseudovirion with the surface proteins of virus B. The type B protein coat then determines the infectivity of the phenotypically mixed virus. However, the progeny from this infection actually will have a type A coat because it is encoded by the type A genetic material. Now let's discuss vaccines for viral illnesses. There are two types of antiviral vaccines that use whole viruses, live attenuated vaccines and killed vaccines. There's also a third type of vaccine called recombinant vaccines that use mass-produced viral particles instead of whole viruses. Live attenuated vaccines induce both humoral and cell-mediated immunity because of their ability to create an infectious-like state within the host, but they can also have reversions in which they revert to virulence on rare occasions. Killed vaccines induce only humoral immunity because they don't induce an infectious state, but they are stable. Live attenuated vaccines include smallpox, yellow fever, chickenpox or varicella zoster virus, Sabin's polio virus, and MMR. You can remember this with the mnemonic live one night only. See small yellow chickens get vaccinated with Sabins and MMR. So the live attenuated viruses are smallpox, yellow fever, chickenpox, Sabins polio vaccine, and the MMR. MMR equals measles, mumps, and rubella. It's the only live attenuated vaccine that can be given to HIV positive patients, which is important to know. The killed vaccines include the rabies vaccine, influenza, the Salk polio vaccine, and the hepatitis A vaccines. So you can distinguish between the two polio vaccines, Sabins and Salk, by remembering the K. Salk equals killed. The other way to remember the killed vaccines is to remember RIP always, or rest in peace always. R is rabies, influenza, polio, and the A would be hepatitis A vaccines. The recombinant vaccines include hepatitis B vaccine, in which the antigen is recombinant HVS antigen, which we'll talk about later, and the human papillomavirus, or HPV vaccine, which includes type 6, 11, 16, and 18, and has been promoted to be important in the prevention of cervical cancers. Remember that no boosters are needed for live attenuated vaccines because of the infectious state that they set up and the immunity that they produce. Also remember that it's dangerous to give live vaccines to immunocompromised patients or their close contacts because of the risk of infection. The exception to that, again, being the MMR vaccine. The nucleic acid macromolecule that makes up a viral genome can be either DNA or RNA. In speaking about the DNA viruses, remember that all DNA viruses except the parvoviridae family are double-stranded DNA. And all of the DNA viruses are linear except papilloma, polyoma, and hepatinoviruses, which are circular. A trick to remember this is to remember that all of the DNA viruses 
are double-stranded DNA like our cells, except part of a virus, or parvovirus, which is single-stranded DNA. Another trick to remember this is to know that parvus translated means small, so you can think of small, the S, being single-stranded DNA for parvovirus. Now let's talk about RNA viral genomes. All RNA viruses except Rioviridae are single-stranded RNA, so you can remember this by remembering that all our SSRNA, like our mRNA, except repetovirus or Rheovirus, which is double-stranded RNA, so repeating two strands, double-stranded RNA, Rio or repeto virus. The positive stranded RNA viruses include Togavirus, Flavivirus, Coronavirus, Hepivirus, Khaleesivirus, and Picornavirus. You can remember these with the mnemonic, I went to a virus toga party where I drank flavored Corona and ate hippie California pickles. So I went to a toga party, toga virus, where I drank flavored Flavivirus, Corona, Coronavirus, and ate hippie Hepi virus, California, Khaleesi virus, pickles, picorna virus. Purified nucleic acids from most double-stranded DNA viruses and most positive or plus-strand single-stranded RNA viruses are infectious, meaning that they by themselves have the ability to produce new viruses. This is because they can be read by host cell machinery and the necessary proteins to produce new viruses can be made. The exceptions to this rule are the pox viruses and the hepatitis B virus. In contrast, if viruses have a minus strand genome, this cannot be read by the cellular machinery within the host, and thus requires the virus to carry proteins with it that allow the proper processing of the genome in order to make new viral particles. As far as virus ploidy is concerned, all viruses are haploid, meaning they have one copy of their genome, either DNA or RNA, except for retroviruses. Retroviruses have two identical single-stranded RNA molecules, and since they have two copies of their genome, they're considered diploid. As far as replication is concerned, for DNA viruses, all of them replicate within the nucleus, except for pox virus. This is because pox virus has its own replication machinery. RNA viruses all replicate in the cytoplasm, except for influenza virus and retroviruses. Remember that we said that viruses that do not have envelopes are referred to as naked viruses. This is one of the properties that microbiologists use to classify viruses. There are seven virus families that are naked. They are Khaleesivirus, Picornavirus, Rheovirus, Parvovirus, Adenovirus, Papillomavirus, and Polyomavirus. You can remember this by remembering the mnemonic naked CPR and pap smear. So naked viruses are Khaleesi, Picorna, Rio, Parvo, Adeno, Papilloma, and Polyoma. Generally, enveloped viruses acquire their envelopes from the plasma membrane when they exit from the cell. The exceptions are the herpes viruses, which actually acquire their envelopes from the nuclear membrane.